Hello Angel. Write in the comments the phrase, Wealth Loves Me. Imagine living without facing financial obstacles. Now, you have the ability to acquire whatever you want without worrying about the price. Concerns about financial sufficiency at the end of the month have become a thing of the past, as you have more than enough. This reality, though it may seem distant, is lived by some people. Did you know that not everyone faces financial difficulties? Why do some people live so comfortably while others remain stuck in a complicated life, unable to achieve everything they desire? Ralph Waldo Emerson, a renowned thinker, once stated that what we fear to do often is exactly what we need to do the most. This reflection resonates deeply when we explore why we face difficulties in essential aspects of our existence, such as intimate relationships and money. Our approach to life, including money, is shaped from childhood, influenced by the experiences and views of our parents and grandparents. If they were fearful, it's possible that we are too, if they had a positive stance, we develop optimistic expectations. By understanding Emerson's wisdom, we are challenged to confront these crucial aspects of life, understanding that often overcoming fear is the path to healthier relationships and a deeper understanding of fundamental issues, such as money. A recent survey conducted by the Institute of Behavioral and Financial Economics explores parental influences on individual financial attitudes. The results highlight divergences in money perceptions between generations and how this disparity impacts lifelong decisions. As people mature and take responsibility for their financial choices, their views on money often diverge from those instilled by their parents. This process of differentiation is a natural part of development as individuals delineate their personal relationship with money. The research reveals that many feelings about money are rooted in ideas of scarcity and the belief that relentless work is necessary only for survival. Understanding and overcoming these ingrained beliefs are crucial to shaping a more prosperous relationship with money. Renowned thinker Carl Jung stated that what we resist persists, and this wisdom resonates when exploring the energies involved in the relationship with money. Money being a neutral entity, responds to the spectrum of energy directed towards it. If we nurture resentment towards money, it reflects that resentment and avoids our proximity. However, if we cultivate appreciation and gratitude for money, it longs to be our ally. In facing financial scarcity, it's common to see money as a potential source of malevolence, creating a complex dynamic where we hesitate to spend it, fearing its future scarcity. In line with Jung, this dynamic is fueled by the darkness of fear, while trust acts as the radiant light, the antidote to this fear. By trusting in the natural flow of money and welcoming it with gratitude, we transform our relationship with it, allowing it to fulfill its role as a facilitator of abundance, rather than being feared as an agent of scarcity. Given that money is energy, it's crucial to remember that it flows like a river, and we can approach it, take a sip, but we cannot stop its flow. Just like the water in the river renews itself, money is also constantly flowing. By understanding this, we can overcome hesitation in spending money and the fear of losing it. Trust in earning money is intrinsically linked to trust in spending it. The iconic Oprah Winfrey wisely proclaimed, you become what you believe. This truth resonates when examining the fundamental difference in money perception between two distinct groups. While one group sees money as a form of energy to be attracted, the other approaches it as something physical to be conquered, like a hunter pursuing its prey. In reality, money is an integral part of our universal consciousness. By internalizing Oprah's view, we understand that money, when viewed as an extension of our energy, becomes accessible and controllable. 
This transformation in the understanding of money is the path to its manifestation and mastery in our lives. Thinker Carl Jung stated, Fear is the darkness, trust's light is the cure. This wisdom resonates when exploring the energies involved in the relationship with money. Money, being a neutral entity, responds to the spectrum of energy directed towards it. By cultivating trust in the natural flow of money and welcoming it with gratitude, we transform our relationship with it, allowing it to fulfill its role as a facilitator of abundance, rather than being feared as an agent of scarcity. Once we understand that money is a form of energy, we can recognize that it is always in motion. We can envision ourselves at the helm of a business, setting clear profit goals and expressing our intentions to the universe or to God. We visualize success in our endeavors, witnessing abundance flowing into our lives in unexpected and gratifying ways. By making a promise to ourselves and the universe to dedicate a portion of the earned money to charitable causes or helping those around us, we infuse positivity into every transaction and donation. This attitude creates an endless cycle of giving and receiving, contributing not only to individual prosperity but also to a world richer in compassion and generosity. Continuing our journey of reflection on money and its manifestation in our lives, it is crucial to explore how our deeply rooted beliefs continue to shape our relationship with financial abundance. Renowned author Robert Kiyosaki wisely observed that money is a choice, and this choice is grounded in the beliefs we have about it. Therefore, by delving deeper into our beliefs, we can discover paths to transform our connection with money. In many cases, beliefs about money are passed down from generation to generation, as if they were a cultural legacy. We grow up absorbing prevailing financial perspectives in our environment, often without questioning or critically examining these ideas. This passive acceptance can result in limiting thought patterns that hinder us from reaching our full financial potential. To begin changing this dynamic, it is essential to engage in a journey of self-awareness. We must question the ingrained beliefs we have about money and whether they truly serve our growth and prosperity. This introspection may be challenging, but it is a crucial step to break free from limiting patterns and make room for an abundance mindset. Furthermore, it is important to recognize that money is not just a tool for acquiring material goods, it is also a tool for creating positive impact in the world. By understanding money as a form of energy that can be channeled toward noble and transformative causes, we broaden our vision and find a more meaningful purpose in our financial achievements. The notion of abundance goes beyond mere accumulation of personal wealth. It involves understanding that financial prosperity can be shared and multiplied, creating a virtuous cycle of contribution to the collective good. When we use our financial resources consciously and generously, we not only benefit ourselves but also contribute to the well-being of the community and the world as a whole. Changing our mindset about money is not just an individual journey, it is an ongoing process that requires practice and commitment. The daily practice of expressing gratitude for what we have and the opportunities that money provides is a powerful way to strengthen this new mindset. Gratitude creates a positive vibration, attracting more abundance into our lives. At the same time, it is crucial to develop a deeper understanding of the true meaning of prosperity. Prosperity goes beyond material goods and includes aspects such as health, strong relationships, personal fulfillment, and meaningful contributions to society. By integrating these elements into our pursuit of prosperity, we create a holistic vision that guides us toward a truly abundant life. A holistic approach to prosperity also implies cultivating solid financial skills. Knowledge about how to invest, save, 
and create additional sources of income not only strengthens our financial security but also empowers us to make conscious decisions aligned with our life goals. Moreover, it is important to understand that money, in itself, is not the ultimate source of happiness. While it can facilitate access to experiences and comforts, true happiness comes from a deep connection with oneself, with others, and with the purpose of life. By balancing our financial aspirations with deeper aspects of existence, we find a sustainable balance that nurtures all areas of our life. As evolving beings, it is fundamental to revisit and adjust our beliefs about money over time. Changes in circumstances, personal maturity, and life experiences provide valuable insights that can shape a more mature and balanced mindset regarding financial abundance. In summary, the manifestation of money in our lives is not just an external process of acquisition but an internal journey of transformation. By examining our beliefs, cultivating a mindset of gratitude, seeking holistic prosperity, and practicing solid financial skills, we can build a more conscious, balanced, and prosperous relationship with money. Remember that the journey toward true abundance is unique for each individual, and every step taken in the right direction contributes to a richer and more meaningful life. May this reflection inspire the continuation of this path toward a healthier and harmonious relationship with money. As you return to conscious awareness, carry with you the feeling of gratitude and joy in contributing. I hope these reflections help you find a clear path to the manifestation of money in your life. Consider subscribing to the channel, as every day you will receive inspiring messages like this.